Welcome back, 645 here on Wake Up Sea Buzz. You know, it is almost back to school for the biggest school district in the state. We're talking about Columbus City Schools. But you see, they're going back with COVID in mind. Yes. And now some schools are dealing with an air conditioning issue. We want to get right over to Karina, who is getting some answers from Columbus City School Superintendent, Dr. Talisa Dixon. Yes, it is back to school for 46,000 kids at Columbus City Schools. But parents with kids in 20 schools learned on Twitter their children will have to learn learn online. That's because of heat, the heat and those schools don't have working air conditioners. So Dr. Super Superintendent Dr. Talisa Dixon joins us now live to talk about plans for the school year. But Dr. Dixon first, let's talk about the heat. This isn't the first year you've had to cancel school because of the heat and lack of AC. Can you talk about the process to get these schools outfitted with AC units so we don't have to deal with this again? Yes, thank you and good morning. Uh, two years ago, we had to close 20, 26 buildings did not have air conditioning and we closed the entire district for two days in October. But this year, we are only um, 14 of those schools um, um, don't have air conditioning, won't have air conditioning until next year. Um, and that was from 14 from that original 26. Um, but we also have additional 20 that we just had some ventilation concerns and we did not want to bring our students, our staff back in these conditions. It's going to be extremely hot for the, the remainder of the week and with not having proper airflow um, and proper ventilation for those staff and students, we did not want to take that risk. So the kids are going to be off Thursday, Friday, and then I know you're hoping to get them back in the classroom next week. Now let's talk about when they do all do go back into the classroom COVID. What do parents need to know when it comes to the safety protocols in place that you put in for this year when it comes to COVID-19? Yes, well, first those students at those 20 schools will be learning remotely. So they will be um, in their digital classroom, virtual classrooms. Um, but for COVID, um, the mitigation strategies that we will have in place this year are the same ones we had last year. Social distancing, um, water bottles. Um, we want our students to make sure they have their masks. Their students and staff, everyone wear, must wear a mask, including visitors when they come to the building. Um, so those are the mitigation strategies we want to make sure that we continue. Uh, we're going to limit the visitors at our school buildings. We want to make sure it's just our staff, our students, and if we have visitors, they must adhere to some guidelines. Again, we want our students to be safe. Um, we hope that if our parents are feel comfortable with the students being vaccinated, if you're 12 or older, um, they have the option to be vaccinated and if our staff, if you're eligible, we want all our staff members to be vaccinated. I'm vaccinated and the majority of our staff are vaccinated. So vaccination is the key. We want our students and staff to be safe so that we can enjoy that experience of being in front of our teachers, learning five days a week. Um, that's the ultimate goal. And with that, Dr. Dixon, I have to ask, what are the chances kids would go back to virtual learning this year and how are you evaluating that decision? Well, we are continuing to work with our Columbus Public Health partners um, and we have our data online through our CATS data. So you can go online for transparency to see how many cases, uh, COVID cases we have throughout the district. And one of the things that we've learned so much from remote learning last year, so it's an easy transition back to um, online learning if we have to, remote learning if we have to, just like the 20 schools that are starting remote tomorrow. So we, um, uh, we anticipate um, our being in the classroom, but we know if we do not because of a rise in cases, we will transition back to remote learning so that students have some continuity um, of learning throughout this school year. Well, it's good to know they at least have that option. Dr. Dixon, thank you so much for making time for us this morning. I know it's thank a very you. busy time of year for you to get ready to get 46,000 kids you. back to school. That is a yes, lot. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know, and we're so excited. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, we'll be in touch with you throughout the school year, and uh, for any of you at home, we'll keep you updated on any changes that are made with Columbus City Schools. Angela, back to you for now. All right, Karina, Dr. Dixon, thank you.